guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna to be working on the Ferrari 458 Spider, and what we wanna to do today is actually put together as much of this interior as possible, which means we are gonna be stealing a few airbags from the first year warranty services wide body Ferrari, and we actually got some parts for it as well, so we may do some work to it in this video. So stay tuned for that. So before we get started, I do wanna give a huge shout out to today's sponsor, Simply Safe. Simply Safe is an easy to use customizable home security system with no contracts and no hidden costs. And having just upgraded their system, their devices are now half the size and reach double the range with five times faster speeds. So overall, the Simply Safe service is an incredibly effective and reliable home security that will protect our house or our shop. And they are professionally monitored 24 seven. And if anything happens, they'll make sure to get the police called. So come over here, let me show you guys some of the thoughtful features that they have. They've got sensors to cover every window, room and door, plus lots of extras like temperature sensors, water sensors and more. And the crazy thing is they are equipped with worst case scenario. So if you lose power, Wi-Fi, or the system is attacked, it'll still work. And the reason why we chose to get a security system is because we do have a lot of money invested in our home and shop. And we just wanna make sure that's all protected and just to have that peace of mind. And the good thing about the Simply Safe service is for 50 cents a day, you do get around the clock protection with no contracts, as I mentioned before. So let's go ahead and set all this up and then we'll show you guys how it works. All right, so we finally got everything set up within a matter of 20 minutes. It was super easy to do. We got our home base system right there. We got two motion sensors, one in that corner, one in that corner there. We got our temperature sensor up here, water sensor down there. Also, we do have a glass break sensor somewhere over there. Probably won't even see it because this stuff is so small and sleek. We also got a smoke detector. We got to have that and we got a panic button here. And the most important thing is our motion camera. We got it set up right there. You can just view it from the app, which is awesome. And we got our keypad system right there, which controls everything as well. And there you have it, boys. Have we, it, are boys. we are live. So we are super happy with the system, how easy it was to set up. And if you guys want this amazing Simply Safe system, be sure to visit the link down below and get you one. Now we're gonna stake this in the ground and we're gonna get right back to work. All right guys, so we took a few things apart, trying to figure out how we we're gonna remove that airbag dash, but it's been such a long time that we somewhat forgot. But luckily we have our original dash right here that's been refurbished by Fur Parts USA. So let's go ahead, take it out, check it out, and then also use it as reference to remove that one. That's crazy how these guys can rebuild stuff like this, you know what I mean? They can do it all, man. Because I believe you can't even buy these airbags or airbag covers. Yeah, and if you do, uh, they're all usually different, like different color stitching and stuff like that. So it's really difficult to actually find a used one, but. Oh yeah, and plus it has like different words, like ours says a spider in the dash, that one says something else, so. Dang, dude, oh, look at that. That's all goodness, brand new dude. right there. That looks good already. Dang, son. Look at that. 458 Spider. Man, that looks like Dang. it's brand new, dude. That's perfect, dude. That looks super good. Now all we got to do is flip it upside down, and this is exactly what I'm talking about. I got to see where all these bolts are that actually pop that top piece off because uh, I looked up under there, and there's like millions of bolts. Any one of them could take this off. So right now I'm going to reference this stuff. Let's go back in there and remove that one. So we finally got the airbag out. Now it is time to throw everything back together. Those of you who are wondering about the airbag, don't worry, this car is getting some nice race car mods on the interior. So I'm not gonna spoil too much. Let's go ahead and throw everything back on and move on to the spider.
guys, check this out. We finally got both airbags in, also the airbag cover. It looks absolutely amazing. It's hard to believe that that was refurbished. I mean, it matches the stock stitching and the stock color looks absolutely amazing. Those guys at Fur Parts USA absolutely knocked it out of the park. As well as this airbag looks sick with the yellow emblem there and the yellow tachometer in the background. Looks freaking sick. And, and all the carbon, carbon dude. dude. That's what I was about to you say. Was all was the thinking, carbon just looks super insane, dude. That is crazy. Dude, you can't miss the carbon in this car. And as far as the interior goes, we are still waiting on seat belts. They'll be in in a couple of days, which we can put everything back together then. But tomorrow, we'll actually take these seats out because we do want to detail this carpet. And we do got a couple strip bolts that go into the seat, as you can tell there. We'll be finding that tomorrow. But it is super late because we were swapping out two dashes. It was kind of time consuming, but we're going to catch you guys bright and early in the morning. Next day here, guys, let's go ahead and pull these seats out, see if we can find some new hardware. And then while we're at it, we're going to clean up the interior. So this interior is coming together. It looks absolutely amazing. I love the red. As for this back panel right here, I think this guy, the previous owner, did have some aftermarket speaker system back here. Probably like a sound bar, as you can tell, he has speaker wires. But we're not sure what we're gonna do yet. I don't know how well this stock speaker system is. Have you heard it yet? Uh, it's all right. It's not the best, but I'm sure you want better whenever the top is dropped. Exactly, when the top is dropped, you wanna hear that bass. But right now we're actually gonna run to the store, grab some bolts for our seats, cause some of them were stripped out. And then we're gonna install them and then we'll move on to the next thing. Alrighty guys, so we are here at the Ace Hardware. And you might have noticed the new Crocs, but you know what? I'm rocking the new Crocs. He's still rocking the old flops, but man, he'll do. Let's see if we can get some bolts. I want everything. Oh, look at this. Deals. <laughs> deals. Perfect deals. Go straight to the bolts. I want one of them. Buy me one. How much this bolt weighs? Not even the drop. Dang, this sucker is a classic. <laughs> what we got here? Is that a metric? Oh, no, not metric. So it must be, what is it called? I don't even know the difference. It's metric and standard or it says inch? inch. Guess they're not these either. Dang, them Ferrari bolts, man. But I'm sure we can find something. I just have to do a, one of these, you know, and just strip it. Oh, right here. Perfect. What is it? It's an eight millimeter, 1.25. Eight by 1.25 course. All right, let's course. find some, let's find a pretty bolt like that. I guess a hex, right? Yeah, I'd like to. If not, not a big deal. Yeah. We just need something about this size. Yes, sir. Got tons of them. I think these suckers been fixed with zip ties. Let me see the bottom of them. Oh, this that side? One. I think I ripped the zip ties off. Oh, still got a zip tie in there. Dude, those have been with us for about a year and a half now. But you know what? I retired them, gave them to you. I don't know. I think these are better than them. I don't know. These suckers are comfortable. I ain't going to lie. Stole these from my dad, actually. <laughs> but let's find these bolts and get back. Let's do it. Ooh, that truck looks good, man. Dang, son. Y'all haven't seen it in a while, but... We drive it every day, man. We dude, try to. We, we drive it as to. much as we possibly can, man. Drive so good, dude. Smooth. Still smooth to this day, man. We still got some things coming for it. Oh, yes, we sure do. Still got some things coming. We got some pretty dang crazy things actually coming for this big rig here. But let's head back and uh, install them seats. Let's do it.
guys, check it out. The interior is finally coming back together. I mean, just check them seats out, dude. They look absolutely amazing. Now that the seats are in and everything else is in, dude, that carbon and everything just goes well super good. It's probably one of the best looking 458 interiors I've ever seen. I mean, next step is basically on the outside of the car. We're gonna do some body work. I think we have a little bit of body work on this quarter panel, yeah, dude, honestly. You can tell like the, the bumper doesn't align with the quarter there and there's got, a little- got pushed finger. in a little bit, yeah. So it did get pushed in. We're gonna have to pull that out as well as right here as you can see how it's up pretty high so we're gonna have to do some kind of body work right here that's probably gonna be the only uh, bit of body work that we're gonna do like some bonding to but other than that we're gonna have to sand the entire car i don't know if we will sand the entire car yeah what do we you haven't think? decided yet may just do a whole respray or we may just blend onto certain panels like that door i don't think it needs any paint so we yeah, may just blend depends on how well we can get a color to match because ppg like the lamborghini if you guys watched that video that car was very hard to actually blend onto because it had like two three stages this one i don't know yet we're gonna have to go buy some ppg and see, see if it's a, a single stage or you, because you don't really see yeah. no metallics in it at all it's almost like a just a a nice matte flat. cream, yeah, flat, flat cream color. So it's not like a glacier white that the Lambo is, but it's a nice color. So maybe we don't have to do a whole entire car. Don't really want to do that because, dude, just check out all these dude. aggressive angles and stuff. And I was thinking about how we're gonna paint the top. If we, it, like, if you put the top up, there's like certain sections. I wonder how we would yeah, paint that all, off and stuff. Yeah, there's like a bunch of rubber seals up in there and stuff like that. It would be super difficult. Front end super easy probably gonna be really easy the hood's not too big the whole front end of a ferrari is actually shorter than the rear end i mean yeah that's true the mid-engine cars man they're a lot shorter front ends but it's gonna look good it's gonna come together here real soon but right now we're actually gonna take this car out because we're about to pull this wide body ferrari in, do a little bit of work to it but might as well take it down the dude, road let's, dude let's go for a little rip with this let's new interior I'm you excited, know dude. this thing looks epic dude with hey new new interior. new interior it's gonna be a new experience i guarantee it all right let's go boys we got the crocs and we got the flops let's go cruising let's go for a little cruise <laughs> Sensor? Well, let me put it in sport and then do this. Mm. No, nothing. There you go. Uh. sipping Woo. but that car is a blast to drive i can drive it every day but right now we're actually gonna leave it for now because we are back on the wide body ferrari right here and we want to go ahead and mount up this rear bumper right here we are having a little bit of issue with aligning it 100 percent as you can see this side actually aligns really good for our aftermarket bumper but when we go over here we got a different story as you can tell, whenever we put it up, it actually sticks out pretty good. And no, this quarter panel ain't really been bent in or nothing like that. It's just a rear, it's just a bumper and how it's made. It is made out of some kind of comp composite. Fiber, uh, fiberglass composite, I believe. Something like that. But anyways, it is a race car at the end of the day and we are throwing on aftermarket parts. So they're not gonna be 100%. And we actually did actually look on a few GT3 race cars themselves and actually some of the cars that people built, you know, yeah. they're not 100% on perfect. Google images and Instagram, I've been looking at stuff up Instagram. close zooming in zooming right in they got and like dude. some pretty big gaps like a lot bigger than what we're gonna have so we're gonna try to make it as perfect as possible we did grab some hardware right there grabbed like eight bolts and nuts 
We're actually gonna use them right alongside right here. Are we right? gonna do eight of them or just do three on each well, side? Well, three on each side, probably. Yeah. Three on each side, probably drill holes straight through the bumper and straight through the quarter panel from the inside. We can reach down there, so it'll be super easy to do a 10 nut and bolt, and that should actually hold it in place really good because right now I'm holding it in place. If we had three bolts, we're gonna have to do some stretching though on this yeah. thing. I mean, this car is gonna be heavily used and abused yeah. after it goes to the next YouTuber. So guys, I can't wait to see who yeah, it is dude who, who gets to abuse this car you know Maybe <laughs> but after some donuts but, yeah, some donuts some bernies yeah some old bernies but after the bumper what are we going to do the flare yeah we're probably going to move on once the bumper is actually aligned we're going to move on to the flare because that's going to align perfectly with the bumper so let's go ahead try to get this rear bumper mounted on and try to start doing this wide body 100 percent completion on this thing All right guys, so we're outside stealing these little mesh vents for the back of the bumper because we're gonna use these on the wide body Ferrari. Uh, the, the ones that, that are coming with our aftermarket bumper that we ordered for the car, I think already come with these, right? They should. Yeah, so we're gonna go ahead, throw these on there and see if they actually line up and fit on there because it's gonna make it look a lot better. Alright, so the bumper is finally on. It looks absolutely amazing. Although it did take a little bit of elbow grease to get this thing right in its spot because I think this is actually a mold of an original bumper. So it is just a slightly bigger uh, bumper, but we managed to get it in. Looks it was good. a little bit difficult with these things as well because it was pushing up against this, but everything lines up perfectly. This side, let's go ahead and start off with this side. Dang, check that out. That uh, You can't get better than that. No, sir. And then we're gonna move on to this side. It was a very difficult side. Don't wanna show you yet because we did manage to crack a little piece off this wide body, but not, not a big deal. We're just gonna go ahead and glue that back in. But this was probably one of the hardest parts was this side because the bumper was actually way bigger than the car itself. So we had to use a lot of elbow grease to get this sucker in, but we managed to do so. That's as best as it's gonna get. And it looks absolutely amazing. It honestly looks better than some of the rear bumpers I've seen on actual GT3 cars. Yes, so. sir, dude. Dang, dude, it's starting to look sick so, on that rear yeah, end, dude. You know, we're gonna put the taillights in and stuff like that. Dude, that's gonna look good, mm, dude. dude. I love it, dude. I love this wide body. So next thing to do is actually go ahead and start mocking up these side fender flares. All right guys, so after a bunch of adjustment and we had to go ahead and tape everything up so we don't scratch the quarter panel, but I think we got our fender flare to be 100% precise. We even had to notch out a little bit of this side skirt so it sits perfectly alongside of that quarter panel. And we went ahead and marked all the holes where we're needing to drill because we got our brand new hardware right here from Downstar. Be sure to check them out if you need some hardware for your car. So right now let's go ahead and grab the drill bit and do some of our first holes in this quarter panel. All 
Alrighty guys, so we finally got that fender flare fully installed. It looks absolutely amazing. I mean, it's flush all the way around. Just look at that fitment to that bumper, flush all the way around the body of the car as well. Nice hardware, I love how that looks. Huge shout out to Downstar. But right now, man, we are actually gonna probably pause for a second because we are super hungry. We have been working on both Ferraris all day, trying to knock out as much as possible. And we're about to actually do the other side, but first we're gonna run to the store, grab some burgers, fire up our pit barrel, and get some food in our bellies. I wish they had one of them race car carts, you know, like they did back in the day. Back in the day, man, I used to always want to ride one of them. All the time, that's how we started. Try some of the Angus beef. I don't know nothing about these burgers, but they look good. They look like the good stuff. The prime is probably the best right there. I don't know much about meat, but we're gonna go with prime. You can't forget the thick cut bacon with the cut, burger, man. Cut. You gonna put that on the burger? That thick stuff right there. Uh, thick with two C's. You gotta run it. <laughs> man, I never knew I'd be taking on adult responsibilities, man. It's the... a lot of work, man. It's a lot of work, I don't work, know what dude. to get. I'm going to have like three things. I could go to the snack aisle and fill this whole thing up, but, <laughs> but we're not going to do that. We're we got to eat healthy. That's right. You know, health is wealth, and that's that's what we like to do. That's Get right. Some, grab some celery. You know, that's celery. Dude, all of them in there. Carrots, what? too. I said. I haven't even seen this stuff no, since it's elementary school. <laughs> <laughs> we really need to do, grab like uh, burger stuff. Uh, what, do you, what do you like? Lettuce, tomatoes, and onions. That's about it. That's it. Let's go get a pack. Let's do it. Alrighty guys, so we got some burgers grilled up. Also some other goodness. What some is that? Some shish kebabs. Woo -wee. I haven't had one of those in a while. But what, are, what are those What though? are those? Those are the dad shoes, man. You know you gotta wear the dad shoes and the flops if you want your stuff to turn out right. That's right. But it is super late on us right now. We're probably not gonna do any more work. We're probably just gonna wrap this video up. All right, so that is gonna be a wrap for today's video. I hope you guys are enjoying both of these Ferraris getting built at the same time as much as we are. And if you haven't, be sure to turn on your post notifications so you don't miss out on anything. Also guys, if you haven't followed us on Instagram at Goon Squad, be sure to do so where you can get inside scoop there before YouTube. And if you wanna support your boys, be sure to visit GoonSquad.com and copy some merch. With that being said, thank you guys for all the love and support. Be sure to drop your comments and thoughts down below and we'll catch you next time. Peace.